X Factors have been in NHL for three years now and everyone knows the meta abilities, but today I'm going to show you an underrated ability that can help you score in different ways in NHL 24 and hopefully win a few more games while refreshing your gameplay and having a good time. Elite Edges, Truculence, and Unstoppable Force are some of the most powerful abilities in the game that everyone uses. What I'm talking about today is underrated and that is Skilled Up. The abilities I just mentioned have a huge direct impact on the game. Elite Edges and Unstoppable Force help you avoid hits and make plays every single play. It's a direct impact on how you play. Truculence has a direct impact on defense and hitting people and knocking people off the puck. But Skilled Up, I think its largest impact is more indirect. And I'll get into that in a second. But first, let me tell you why I'm picking Skilled Up. When you use Skilled Up, you will never fail a Michigan Deke. Just press Y and it'll pull it off every time. You will never, ever, ever fail. Not only that, but it speeds up the animation a lot. So you're more likely to pull it off and you're less likely to lose the puck while you're doing it. It makes the Michigan a very powerful tool, but its highest impact, I believe, is after you hit your first Michigan, which is not hard to do at all with Skilled Up, defenders will cheat so much behind the net, opening up further options for your teammates. For example, if you play threes, more than likely, you're gonna go behind the net, the defender's gonna go back, even before you go into the animation. If you've already hit one Michigan, they're gonna cheat back, thinking you're going for another. Reverse that around, there's no defense in front of the net, easy backdoor tap in. I promise you, there are so many plays that open up after you hit that first Michigan, and the first Michigan is easy to hit as long as you have skilled up on, which is why this ability is insanely underrated. Overall, I think the Michigan is very underused in NHL 24. When they announced you could press a single button to pull off a Michigan, people freaked out. They thought it was gonna be so overpowered, and it is. It is very powerful, and you still don't see many people trying to pull it off in games. Personally, I think one of the strongest things about being able to consistently do a Michigan with this skill up ability is that people would cheat off and it'll open more things up for your offense because that's what really matters. Having great offense is about being unpredictable. Tricking the team into thinking you're doing something else, leaving something else open, right? That's what leads to great offense in the offensive zone, not off the rush, which is what really matters in my opinion. It's really easy to score off the rush, but when you're in the zone, that's when things get difficult. So being able to make their guys make mistakes, cheat, going back, thinking it's a Michigan, you reverse it, hit back door. Those are extremely important goals that will win you an insane amount of games in NHL 24. I'm gonna hop into a game and this is the build I'm gonna be using right above me. It's just a completely normal build. I just jacked speed and acceleration. I didn't optimize this at all in play style or tenacity. I'm also putting tape to tape on because I'm going to be behind the net a little bit. I'm going to play a little bit of Wayne Gretzky drill. Not only that, but I could go into ones or threes to get you guys gameplay with this. There's a lot of space in ones or threes. Ones especially, people are penalized for cheating up, for being the point of attack defender. So it's easier to pull off those Michigans or threes where there's a lot of space. But I'm going to hop into sixes where there's the least space in EASHL. Try and get you guys some Michigans through all the clutter. We'll see what happens. Even if you don't like skilled up, you can still use this build. It's nasty. Obviously, it's a dangler build. You're going to be doing dangler things. It has elite edges. You're going to be doing elite edges things. So if you don't like the ability, if you try it out and don't like it, I still recommend this build. It's not optimal. I haven't changed playstyle or tenacity, but I still really like it. And if you've made it all the way through the Yap Sesh, did you know only 10% of the viewers who watch are actually subscribed? If you want to become a 10%er on a Festive Fruits YouTube channel, go down and hit that sub button. It helps out a ton. Also, if you want to, you're not required, but if you want to, go to the first link in the description, drop a follow on the Twitch. I really appreciate it. It helps out so much. Without further ado, I really hope you guys enjoy the build, the ability, and the gameplay. Hit him with the brakes. Ow. Uh, bro. Boom! That's a penalty. That's such a penalty. No, no, no. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Straight out the box, play. baby. Yo, somebody call time out, man. Oh. Somebody call time out, man. <laughs> somebody Wait, call time. Let him cook. Hold on, let hold on, cook. hold on. No. Let me go on, on the screen. Hold on, hold on. You gotta shoot it, man. You gotta shoot it. I was gonna shoot oh, it. Oh, nah. What is he doing? <laughs> oh, how, wait. How does he still have it? Oh, oh, holy oh. shit. That's the perfect chance to be like, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Get out. Get out. <laughs> Get out. That was the perfect <laughs> chance. Get the grimy. fuck out of my room. I'm playing Minecraft. Oh, oh shit. What? 
Logan just down the board. Yeah. Scott! Oh, Scott! One known as Yap. Yap! Right here, right here. Scott! I swear. Oh, the pass. Okay, just take my goal. <laughs> yes. Wait, why were the two Fuck defensemen you, in front of the net? That. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh! Rick, Rick only plays that. when there's a rush, so he can join on it. Well, yeah, look at the score. Oh! All right, chill out. Clean back win, bro. I call this the nickel back. Boom. <laughs> oh, yeah. Look, look at this sauce. Oh, good lord, Scott. Yeah, don't say that. Don't say that. Man. Shit. Yeah, we're we'll just... Oh, flipped it over his head. <laughs> oh, my oh. God. Over his head, oh, nice, back nice. to Logan. Hey, hey, Denise, what do you get when you mix Captain Mogan and Coke? <laughs> Fuck you, Rick. <laughs> Captain Redbeard. <laughs> hey, to I put I put my Captain Morgan in the Coke and call that shit a Captain Redbeard. <laughs> that shit was so not funny, bro. I didn't know that. Well, also, he's not playing the song, he's playing the games. Damn, bro, you just slapped him in the face. <laughs> oh, Lord. Oh, damn. Are you fucking bitch? I'm running, Touch I'm me. running, oh. I'm running, I'm running. Yeah, that's go. Go. Yeah, that's I don't really want to. Not, not Christian's group. Not Ghost. Ghost. Oh, group. oh Ghost? Oh. No! I don't think you can do it. Yo, let's just create the gray wall in front, in front of the net, bro. <laughs> that shit did not work. Who's it? Okay. Yo, someone just Where fly. Just, like the dark blue bro? got my way. It wasn't even a oh, power just... play, man. Oh, what? What is hook? Oh, no way. Oh, my oh, God. My, let's go. Oh, my Lord. Oh, my, let's go. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh my, oh, oh my god. Let's go, oh my bro. god. Oh my god. Oh shit. Damn. It was it was definitely me. Whoa, Scott, that diving <laughs> into the play. Never before seen. Yo, Rick! Oh, oh Sc dude, Rick. Scott's all Scott. over the oh, ice. Scott battle. is all over the Scott, ice. Right. You're tying me up. You're tying me up. <gasps> oh my god, what good. Yeah, dude. Oh dude. Back, back, back. Just easy, good play. Oh. Good. Oh. Good. Oh. Good game.